I didn't actually talk in this, so uh, this is just a voiceover. Um, well, as you see, I'm using a Spellbinders um, embossing folder, 3D embossing folder. I do show you, I think, sometime in this video. The, the cover, you know, the packaging. Anyway, so it's going through my die cutting machine with the base plate and uh, the adapter, and then I noticed there's some tension a little bit, so I decided to mist then another sheet with water to see if that makes a difference or not. Not really sure if it does or not, but uh, in it goes, and then it'll come out, I think, a tiny bit better. But, eh. As you can probably see here. So I'm getting out my ink, the uh, pearlescent one, as you can see there, it's a nice blue, starlet something or other, I can't read that fast, I got this on speed, speed, when I sped up the video, so those would be like 67 minutes, and uh, <laughs> I don't think it would be interesting watching me slowly ink this thing. It is very pretty pearlescent. So I'm just going over all the snowflakes. Yep. Even sped up is taking a while. I don't want to speed up anymore because I don't want to make it look a bit weird. I don't know if it, the faster it goes, the weirder it looks or not. Anyway. Still going. A lot of snowflakes on this page. So I think on one of them, whether it was this side or the other side, I did a bit uh, too heavy handed on one side to uh, do a bit too heavy handed on some of the other ones to make it at least go together. I think I was thinking about using a different ink pad for the other one, but uh, I couldn't bother to get it out. So, this is me deciding to ink up the back instead. Yes, it was this side that I was doing the other one. Doesn't it look pretty? It's like... Well, it looks like an actual snowflake, and it's, you know, white. And the background is more blue. It's a little pretty. I quite like it. Um... I also hope I'm going to line this right when I'm putting it in. Throw it in. And yeah, that's, I think that was the one that I was heavy ended on. So I. Yeah, I redid it with another. another one. Yeah, to make it look like it goes together. I didn't know they were snowflakes. Some of them were kind of like spider ones too. It's not a nice thought. Don't like spiders. Um, so yes, I'm just gonna... Dang it. Yeah, I'm wondering if I should just cut some of this out. Can I be bothered? It's nice, soothing background music, maybe? Well, it was, it was a free one on the YouTube uh, free music library thing. It's a blue star or something like that. Anyway, I think they both look lovely. I'm pretty sure I might have been talking, but I just can't be bothered to unmute and listen to what it says. Yes, yeah, so this was the... Uh, 
Victoria Snowflakes. This, this is my uh, first time using it, I believe. We should end up very nicely. I do some more. So I'll just trim off the, uh, the white bits that I don't need. And I missed. <laughs> so try again. Now on the other side, I'm going to try again on the other side again. Because I missed a bit. I saw later. Yeah, see. Uh huh. And the trash goes, because trash goes right behind me instead of underneath the table or whatever. But, uh, yeah, I was trying to figure out how long the piece of paper was. Not that I measured it right anyway, but I just cut it at the same size because why not? I mean, I cut them smaller anyway. So I had a, uh, a folded piece of card. Which, it seems I didn't even fold straight anyway, so I, that's why I'm cutting bits off. <laughs> but still, it's nice it's rectangle-ish. So, this is me just <laughs> measuring how much I want to cut off. Yeah, that's one way to do it, isn't it? No numbers needed. I'm just deciding which snowflake part to use, I guess. I'm only deciding whether I want it to full on or just halfway. Then I can use the other cutoff bit on the other side. Anyway, I think I still do have that small bit I cut off. I'm not sure what to do with it though. Oh, uh, I guess I didn't think it looked straight. I mean, does it ever really look straight anyway? Um, and I did it in like a kind of a taggish kind of shape. Okay. Throw away the bits. And then those to the side, just be in the way. And just get the tape runner. It's my uh, new crafter's companion tape runner thing that likes to come up for some more reason. And then just adding bits and using the light to see the reflection of the tables because sometimes I can't tell. So I'm gonna tape up the little bits. Stick them on the sub corners. I mean, this is. I mean, I did not plan this layout whatsoever. It's just on the fly, really. Um. Yes. Yeah, so I'll stick it down. And then I am thinking about what else to put on it. And now I'm reaching in. Yes, do you like my little goldfish with the Santa hat on it? I drew that. There's some crafty thing. And look, there's some glitter glue. Some of that and some of that. I end up getting out some white as well later on. But I, uh, totally don't realize it's not even on screen. <laughs> well, that's lovely. Luckily, for Christmas, I plan to get a over and like a uh, clamp on desk kind of tripod thing so I can do a bird's eye view. So I don't have to worry about it being in screen or not. And hopefully, it works. Because there was another one that I looked at, which I thought would work, but. Not very good reviews. <clears throat> so, yes. here goes the uh, the other one, which is um, glittering ocean or something like that. It's more of a green than blue when I end up looking at it, but 
You're not low okay. cut. So I did a little bit too much in this color. But anyway. I'll turn it on okay. and you see some of the glasses because I need to be looking closely because I can't see a thing. Some of my glitter flakes aren't coming out. I can't really tell sometimes. Grab the glasses again. It looks pretty, doesn't have a little sparkly and whatnot. Yes, I'm reaching in for the white. Well, sparkling eyes, is what it says. That was from, uh, I think, uh, Christmas Glitter Glue Collection, I believe. Yes, lovely. Is there anything else I can ramble about while like you're watching the glitter glue off screen? <laughs> I don't know. I don't really ramble that much. Um, well, I schedule this to go to be uploaded on the morning of Christmas Day because it'll take a while for me to record edit everything of the uh, what I get for Chris what I got for Christmas video which will be probably up in the evening <laughs> because I'm slow and I get distracted easily. Well easily. But yes. Um yeah. Um that more of my glasses. Well, you can sort of see the car through the glasses too. Uh, I'd make an interesting picture, wouldn't it? Mm. Well. You can sort of see the card through my glasses anyway. The parts that you can't see me <laughs> glitter glue. <laughs> oh. Well, that's, that's, I guess bonus with me being in the way of the camera and not even being in camera. Isn't that pretty? So what do I decide to do next? I think I think it looks a bit plain. It's just that, right? So I go out and get the die cut that I did ages ago. Because that one was from a magazine. Um, for my first craft stash haul. And that was from a pink, pink, pink case, which in the end I don't use that one. But I get out a different die cut, which I did the day before or so. Because that happy was in day 12? Is it day 12? Well, it was in one of the admin calendars for the uh, Crafters Companion admin calendar. I'm using my glitter glue to stick it down anyway. All the bits that I missed. So I don't being a lot of it because I put it on after I guess the glue dried. <laughs> Which isn't very right here, but anyway, it's fine because even if the glue seeps out, it'll still be sparkly. Um what else to say? I'm gonna put the Christmas one on underneath. Turned out okay, I think. I know the person I gave it to liked it, so. I guess that's, that's always a plus. Um, now, for some odd reason, I'm outlining it all in good or good. Do I really want it sparkly? I mean, I could just use a silver pen, could I? But that's messy. I'm not shiny, would it? Or I could have just, you know, put that in a... Uh, use my, uh, what's it called? Embossing pen, and then put embossing powder on it before I glued it down. That would have been super shiny. Then, well... Yeah. 
Do you know what I'm doing there? Because I can't see either. <laughs> and I can't remember. Oh, I'm making sure it's glued down. Okay. Now I'm tracing the happy. Is that from the look? Well, I'm guessing from the hand movements and then the reflection of my glasses. <laughs> Mm. I mean, that's what I think I'm doing. And... What else am I doing? Because I don't know. I'm making a dot on the eye, I think. Yeah, I did. Look at this, so sparkly. Hey! Um... I'm getting a pen, I think. Am I getting a pen, or am I just putting things away? Okay, I'll put my glitter glues away. No, so, uh, I believe I think that, yes, I get a blank card envelope. Just make sure it fits in. It fits in that way anyway. Right. So that's good. Um, and I guess I write on the inside sometime. Because so I use the envelope as, uh, so it doesn't, so the, Ink doesn't smush. Yes. Friend. That volunteers on the same page with me. And picks me up. So I write in there. Because I can follow just a bit. And also, it's faster. And I guess more personal if I write it myself. Um. And I use the, uh. The envelope. I think I just blew it, blew it on it. Don't hope it dries faster. I don't know. Um, well, I guess I'll try and see if that card would fit, but it doesn't. So I use the envelope to make sure it doesn't smudge on the inside of the card. Yeah, and that's it. So thanks for watching. Over and out.